Hi, I'm Trisha with Fitlow Denver, and we're at New Balance in Aspen Grove to learn a little bit more about shoes. We recently had a question from one of my blogs about um, the difference between cross-training shoes and running shoes. And I tried to give what I like to do, but then I figured let's ask some experts about it. So we're here at New Balance Aspen Grove with Taylor, and he um, is a shoe expert. So let's check out some shoes. We're gonna look at the women's shoes because I am definitely interested just for myself. In general, I do more weight training mm -hmm. and um, yeah, just like kind of it, it, the high interval yep. workouts, mm -hmm. burpees and, yeah. and short sprints and, okay. and things, jumping jacks, stuff like that right. in the weight training. What shoe would you recommend? So for your, yeah, yeah for your style of mm -hmm. doing uh, real quick sprints, real quick movements. You want something that's going to hug the foot. A minimal style would work for you if you're not going to be doing longer runs than maybe 200 meters. Um, that's where a lot of foot issues come. But if you're doing shorter things, um, let's see here, minimal shoe like this. Mm -hmm. You can see the lower amount of cushioning there. Lower profile. Has a little bit different shape to it. Um, that's going to be a good one. So it's a real flat sole. A lot of ground contact when you're doing squats and things like that. So you're really pushing the power through the floor. Um, a minimal style running shoe would be something more like this. You can see there's just a little bit more cushioning there. Um, and it's once you put on the feet, you can tell a difference with the cushioning. Neutral, lightweight. This one's about seven and a half ounces, which is our lightest. And then we move to the running shoes, of course. And we have running shoes are broken down into a few different categories. So we have stability shoes, neutral cushion shoes, and motion control. So think of it this way, motion control is the most supportive, stability is the next, neutral is almost little to no support. And so a good, again, once we're seeing, once you can see them up close, a little more cushioning here. This is that true running shape to it, not as much lateral support. And then once you flip it over, it's, you can tell that the cushioning is a little different. And once it's on your foot, you can always tell it's the softer cushioning, things like that. This is Wiley, and he is a runner, so you run a lot. What, how much do you run? I'm doing about 70 to 80 miles a week. So I have, I train with three, kind of going through three that we carry, um, different use for each each run, just making sure and letting the shoe fully kind of rebuild some of the cushioning by letting it sit and transfer to another shoe. So I always recommend having more than one shoe for your training. Um, the main idea, um, if, even if you're training for those longer races, having, you know, like I use a 1080 for my longer runs, it's going to be more durable, last a little longer. And so I'll wear that one for your long run or whatever. And then by laying sit all night, sit, sit all day, the next day, that cushion is going to rebuild itself a little bit. It's going to make a little bit longer life out of the shoe. Someone who's just getting into running, there's really no bad option for running shoes. They're all going to be great for that beginning level. You know, it's when you start getting to the longer level, more extensive training, that's when you can find different shoes that will be a little bit more beneficial for your training. Well, Taylor and Wiley, thank you so much. It was really You're nice welcome. to meet you and really informative. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks well. for coming in. We appreciate you. Yeah. Um, hopefully, if you all have any questions out there, uh, we'll give her our information so you guys can shoot us a call before you come in or you can just stop on in. We can always answer questions that other people might have. All right, cool. Yeah, Let's high five it. All right. Woo!